Hello, welcome to the Rich and Simple Living. My name's Maria, and if you're new here, I vlog home life things, but normally it seems to be cooking, which is what we're doing today. Today we're going to have a go at doing lemon dumplings in the microwave. We're flashing again. <laughs> I keep forgetting to set my light up, and I should set it up really, but I'm so busy getting all the ingredients together, I forget everything else. So anyway, back to my professionalism. <laughs> We're doing lemon dumplings in the microwave. Now, I found the recipe. It's in the Biro book. Quite an old one, a bit tatty looking. And I've never done it before, never ever. So, and I've looked at it quite a few times actually. I thought, oh, that looks nice. Because I absolutely love anything with lemon in. Do you know, lemon meringue and that kind of thing, lemon sponge, anything with lemons, I like. I kept thinking, oh, I'll have to do that. And then when people say to me, oh, why don't you do some more microwave um, recipes? That, that lemon dumplings came back into my mind. I thought, yeah, we'll start with that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a go at it. So if it goes wrong, it's because I've never done it before. I've never had a chance to try and perfect it. What um, you see is exactly how it happens. I don't have no practice runs or nothing. It's just me and maybe disasters. Or maybe successes. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to bring you down and we'll make a start in it. So I am going to follow the recipe. I've got it in front of me so I can see what it says. Although I do know how to do dumplings, but it's how what order it all goes in. So it says, first of all, to do the sauce. So let's start on a little bowl. Hopefully that will be um, big enough. So let's have a look then. We've got to mix the lemon curd together. So we've got a jar of lemon curd, a jar of Tesco lemon curd, <laughs> and uh, that says four tablespoons. So it'd be a bit hard to get level tablespoons, I think. We'll just do the best we can do. Can't have too much lemon anyway. <laughs> okay. I feel come off the spoon. Three. I've got Dean behind me. It's not ready yet, Dean. You can't try it yet. Oh, no. <laughs> We're at the beginning. I'm just looking what you're doing. <laughs> you're waiting. No, ready. <laughs> No, come on. He does yeah. like his food. <laughs> so we've got the four tablespoons of lemon curd. Then it says uh, what we needed was a, a lemon. I've already done it. So you grate a bit of the peel and you squeeze the juice. So we've got that. Let's get that off the top because I don't want the pips to go in. So we've got the juice there. So it says mix together the lemon curd lemon juice so we'll put the lemon juice in it that to one side and then it says two tablespoons of water now given the fact last week last week was only yesterday it seems like a lifetime ago was it yesterday no well it's one day i don't know but i was measuring milk and i did it on the spoon <laughs> it's going everywhere so i suddenly thought to myself this morning why don't i use a measuring spoon from out of my bread maker because it's just nicely cooked and i can't get over the top well not too much of a mess anyway so i'm going to go behind you let's bring you back down so you can see when i do it i'm going to have two tablespoons of cold water this is a lot easier doing it like this and measuring with a spoon like I did the other day. Don't know why I didn't think of this the other day. There you go, better late than never. So we've got that. Now I don't know if I can mix it because I'm not sure how mix it together. Yeah, I'm not sure how many lemon curd is going to go, but we'll mix it in best we can. I find this Tesco one, I'm sure they've changed it because it's sort of lumpy and clumpy. It never used to be like this. It used to be nice and smooth, but it seems to be more lumpy these days. I don't know why that is. I mean, I don't buy the most expensive one. I just buy Tesco's own make. Mind you, even if this is a bit lumpy when it goes into warm up, it'll melt it anyway, I should think. Just try and flatten the lumps best can really 
I mean, you might be fortunate enough that you buy your lemon curd from somewhere else and it is smoother, so it'll be easier to sort of mix. We'll just give it a mix around anyway. It's not as bad as it was. There's a few lumps in there, but this should be all right when it goes in the microwave. We'll leave it to that. So then we're going to get a casserole dish. Because you need something with a tight lid. Well, that's normally a casserole dish. We need a little bit more. And pour that into there. We've still got a few lumps in there, actually. <laughs> well, I won't worry. We'll see what it does when it goes into the microwave. Although it's not in there for long. The only thing with me cooking, with having such a small kitchen, is where to put all your pots. You know, as you're emptying them, normally you've got a big side and you can put them to one side. But I can't do that. Maybe I can mash it a bit more like this. Might have been better doing it straight in here, really. And it has saved dirtying up one of the pots. I never learned. <laughs> All right, that'll do, I think, as long as it's mixed around enough. So we'll put that to one side then. So we're going to do the um, dumplings next. I'll just put that over here, swap that. Put the spoon down. So we're going to put the flour. Oh, it's four ounces of self-raising flour. Let me grind a bit more. Two ounces of vegetable suet I've used. I mean, you'd be for vegetable, but I thought, well, being it's like a desserty thing, it's probably better using the vegetable anyway. Put the um, grated peel from your lemon in there not much of it i did it quite fine because i didn't really want it thick so i've done it finely so it doesn't look like there's anything in it really so mix all that in a bit I smell lemon it smells beautiful i do love lemon we're going to put an ounce of sugar in because it is a dessert so we mix that in there as well. Use my hands. Should use a spatula maybe, I don't know. I'm primitive. <laughs> now I'm going to go behind you and just add drops of water out of the tap. Because um, that's how I tend to do it, rather than dirty a cup. So I'll put a big splash of water in to start with. And then uh, just see if we can mix it to a dough. I'm sorry about the sound of this because it'll sound grating. My new phone, it picks up sound really well. It's very high pitched, everything that it picks up. So this will sound like metal grating probably. We've got a new microphone to try out with it, see if that helps. If not, we're thinking of swapping to one that might have a muffler, you know, the sort you have outside when it's windy to see if that helps a bit because I can't seem to find settings on the phone that um, makes a difference with it so I don't know yeah, that should be just right so I wouldn't say any particular amount of water um, I just put a bit at a time in and mix it till it makes the dough that I need Sometimes I put too much, I add a bit of flour to stiffen it back out again. And other times I don't put enough, so you just keep adding bits of water like I've just been doing. There we go. So, let's just get something to put a bit of flour on, actually, so we can roll it out. Well, not roll it out, but... Pack it out. Actually, I wanted to say about my flour. I wanted to make an apology to somebody. Um, they'd asked me what flour I used, which brand it was. And I said Tesco, because I've got Tesco in the cupboard. But the actual one I'd used on that day, I realised, was an Aldi one. So if you were referring to the one I was using that day, it was an Aldi one. But I use Aldi or Tesco. And I quite like the Tesco ones best. But if I need some, I go in Aldi, I pick one up. And that was the Aldi one. So I do apologise when I said Tesco. It was actually Aldi. But I've got a Tesco one in my cupboard. And my plain flowers Tesco as well. So, yeah. 
I just automatically assumed I'd use a Tesco one and I realised afterwards that I hadn't. <laughs> so it was Aldi. But I find it, it's all quite a good flower. I used to use Home Pride all the time and um, in the end, I can't remember why I'd switched to one of Tesco's own brands. I used to go and get the Home Pride half the price and I wasn't expecting things to turn out very good but they did I was quite surprised how well it was so um, yeah I've continued using them because I thought well I can't see the point of paying for expensive flour when it's not making any difference to what I'm doing then you know I might as well just stick with what I've got so let's bring you back down again anyway Let's move that out of the way. So what we're going to do now, I think I might just give that a little bit more of a stir. Just make sure it's all mixed. I'm going to make the dumplings and just sit them on the sauce. So just pull some off. The smell of lemon is amazing. If you could smell it, it's lovely. Two things I like, the smell of vanilla and the smell of lemon. And the taste, of course, <laughs> not just the smell. And I do, I like cinnamons and mixed spice smells as well, but I tend to think of them in winter, sort of winter time, Christmas time, you know, sort of autumn, later autumn. I think of when they have smells like that, that's what it makes me think of Christmas. Right, it does say it makes 12 balls, but I don't think I can get 12 out of this. Probably two, four, six, seven. Right, I'll move them up a bit. I can fit them in and I should be able to fit the other one in the middle then. All being well. Yeah, they'll probably mix in together a bit if they swell up. <laughs> Note how I say if. <laughs> right, so that's what it looks like. Your sauce is at the bottom and your dumplings are sat on top. So I'm going to get the lid for the casserole dish because it said you need a tight fitting lid. So we're going to put that on. And then I'm just going to wash my hands and then we'll put it into the microwave. Right, this is a bit tricky trying to get in the right position. I tried to put you on that side and it was really dark in the picture so uh, we'll try this way. Now let's see if we can focus you in onto the microwave. Might go a bit dark the light but and the door opens the wrong way. Better if it opened the other way. I could have done with your face this way, way but never mind. That's my kitchen for you. Right that's in. So again my microwave is only um, I think it's a 700 watt, so I'm going to put it on for 3 minutes 30 seconds, so 3.5 minutes. One, two. So 3.5 minutes. So if you've got a different microwave, you'd have to adapt the, the timings to what uh, wattage your microwave is. So... Um, Switch it on. I always forget how to switch my microwave on, you know. I don't know why. <laughs> because I don't use it as often as I should or as I used to. Now I've got the air fryer. So we're going to leave that go a minute because the noise might be um, playing on the, you know, microphone. So we'll come back in a minute. Right, it's just binged. So I fetched it out. Um, and bring it across so I can show you what it looks like. So that's how it looks. Still got some sauce. I've got a feeling it's absorbed a bit of the sauce, but I suppose you keep a bit for putting over your dumpling. Now what I did do, I did put it on for an extra minute because um, Dean had a peek and he says, I don't think it's done. So I said, we'll put it on for an extra minute. So my oven is 700 watt and I put it on for um, four and a half minutes. Let's bring you down actually so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take one out. Oh yeah, the four and a half minutes is much better than if you can see that. But we're going to put a bit of sauce on it over the top. 
not so easy with a little spoon, but I don't want too much. Save some for the others. So there we have it. That's pretty good. I'm going to leave it just cool down for a moment. Uh, if you can see that. I'm going to leave it cool for a moment and then we'll test it, taste test it and see if it's as tasty as it looks. Right. I've just said to my taste test toy, are you going to taste test? And he goes, oh, I think it might be a bit sweet for me <laughs> after hovering around. So uh, I'll tell him what it tastes like. We shall see. That is so nice. Oh, the lemon. The lemon really is strong. Very strong lemon. I can see why you've got to put the sugar into it now. Mmm. Oh, that's gorgeous. I will definitely be making more of them. I mean, now I've took some out of the spoon, you can see the middle's cooked nice. It's a whole different flavour than when you put them in stews. I mean, you can sort of tell it's a dumpling by the texture and everything, but the flavour is totally different. It's real lemony, very lemony, really nice. In fact, if you're only so-so with lemon, you might want less lemon in it. <laughs> But that is really lovely. I can't believe I've never made them before. can't believe that. It was so quick and easy. That took longer to prepare than anything else. That's really good. So I count that as a success. And anybody likes lemon, definitely have a go. But you'll just have to um, figure out the timings because of the wattage of your microwave. Like I say, I put it on a review for three and a half minutes, but I've put another minute on. So that was four and a half minutes, but mine's a 700 watts. So that's quite low as they come today. But uh, you might need to sort of lessen it for a higher wattage. So yeah, that's that for today. Lemon dumplings in the microwave. Now I'll be back again tomorrow because I have taken to doing a weekly scone one in the air fryer. So join me tomorrow to find out what scones I'm going to be making tomorrow. So thank you for watching and until tomorrow, take care. Bye.